been how long? Eight months? Well, that's not my fault. You know, Sasha's trapeze lessons took longer than expected, and Eric spent all that time in Lebanese jail, so what were we supposed to do? Nick? No, he just had a nice cup of tea. Anyway, how are we going to explain it to the audience? Act like nothing happened? Gotcha. Hello, and welcome once again to the Polyester Atlas, the world's most sporadic football shirt-themed podcast. As ever, I'm joined by the three mightiest knights from the realm of international football fashion, Sir Nick of Warwick, Baron Sasha the Wise, and Almost King Eric of Canada. I am Sir Johnston the Unprepared, and together we traverse the polyester plains, answering questions of great import, such as Adidas or Nike, how do the new crop of World Cup shirts measure up, and just how red is too red? On today's episode, we're running down the top 20 in Nick's recent poll of greatest international shirts ever. With 300 shirts nominated by members of the Twitter community, he's been counting down the top 100 on his Football Shirt World blog, and we'll be having an in-depth look at the winners, if by in-depth you mean blathering away about them in a sometimes heroically ill-informed manner. So without further ado, let's get involved! Okay, 20th place we have um, France 1984, 1982 maybe, I think. Um, th- this shirt is a match worn shirt that Gregorio sent to me. Um, I think I swapped something with him for it. Um, and he was incredibly generous because this must be worth quite a lot. Yeah, no kidding. And um, yeah, I was, I was amazed when he offered me this. So I took it. It's, it's obviously match worn, it's, it's a slightly like woolly material. Um, and I really like it and obviously France 98 I believe is a uh, Adidas re-released um, a, a version of the shirt right that's number 20 um, number 19 this is the uh, shirt of the year for 2021 isn't it yeah that was great that it won that poll as well because it really looked like what was it up against in the final oh, it was up against something that I was pretty sure was going to absolutely storm the final and then, um, and then enough people voted for Anguilla for it to win, which is probably and the right first thing Anguilla have ever won ever. <laughs> I would assume. The design is is phenomenal, and actually, to be fair, Anguilla have pretty much always worn cool shirts, and they've they've gone with that dolphin thing, which I love. Um, and the style is so good. Um, and fair play to uh, Filthy Specs on Twitter for designing it and for stimulus for, for going with it. So yeah, and for and for our man on Twitter as well, um, who sorted it out in terms of actually getting it sent over to us cool. far away football at far away football on twitter um and he acted as our go-between because you just can't order these to be sent to europe um and it was hugely generous of him to actually do that for us um yeah love it right um number 18 um nice. so this is uh Marlin. now ans have created awesome shirts for lots of african countries for, for a while um, they seem to have a special thing for, for Mali. And in fact, um, uh, they, they, I think the, the, the original uh, founder of ANS is from Mali. It's Mali. Yeah. yeah. Um, sure. um, Ma- Mamadou something. I can't remember his name. Anyway. MK. MK is the... Oh, because it's on the signature, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kony. Anyway, um, this, was, this blew my mind, this one, when it first came out. I think it came out the same year that Senegal had that cool one with their um, leopard or whatever it was. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. with the Romai one, yeah. 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 Um, so we suddenly had two phenomenal shirts um, and I'm so pleased that this one was, was voted quite highly. Um, and then they have went and released two more that with a very similar design with that eagle on the front. Um, yeah, they're all great. They all kick ass. That th- this was one. the first one and I, I think it's the best one. I'm, I know the rhinestone one from the two years later was, was Man, also... I'll... The, the, I'm just seeing that one that you're wearing now, and it's absolutely kick-ass. Yeah, I, it, I it love that. Looks I think amazing. It, yeah, I'm I quite... also like what they did to the badge. I mean, adding the the gold to the badge. I don't think I've seen that on any other shirt. It's um, really weird. I really so like the, that. 
ANS um, make their shirts in two different factories, one in Tunisia and one in Turkey. Um, and the, the specification is very slightly different. One is like the player spec version and one's the, um, the, the fan version. They're, they're very similar shirts, but the badge is often um, different quality. So obviously this is the, the better quality badge than this one. Right, okay, um, number 17, this is what... Um, Man, this is South Africa war. seriously, this is Paul in top 20. This is a horrendous shirt. I've got one of these and it's horrible. Like, look at it. It's horrible. <laughs> so, is, I, I love it. it looked, to me, it looks like somebody somebody's TV was acting up and they just started bashing on the top. <laughs> and then that's what... I love it. That's It's so all over the place. Like, there's too much going on it's like, too much it's going just... on it's crap quality the color scheme's horrible like those like you see those watermarks in the white bit they should be like yeah. cool nice watermarks but they're just like cheap stamped gray on white it's just like oh it's bogging the one that came Having after this... it so much better like this shirt is great um, it's a bit of an oddity. For, for a start, they, they first wore this in um, 1992 when they first got accepted back into FIFA for being a little bit less racist. Um, and then they carried on wearing it right through until um, the beginning of 98, I think. And there was slight variations. The collar changed, the badges would move around, some of them have an extra... Yeah, on, some of them have got like a red cap a logo, some of them have got like a white... Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. And, Isn't um, there like four different colors uh, of the Kappa logo? Yeah, yeah so there's, there's a red one, yeah. a green one. There's, they've also got the uh, a white version of this with um, like black on it, and then they've got a black and green version of it. Um, different cities across South Africa would sell different replicas, so it's it's a mess. I'm not. Is that right? Ever, That's like, bizarre. It, it, it is weird, um, and I've never actually managed to find photographic evidence of them wearing the one with this collar and a red badge and the SAFA, that SAFA logo on the left-hand side. It's it's a mess. I feel like is I need to check. Is yours long what, sleeve, what Sasha, version, or is Sasha's is better than mine. Yeah, this one is um, That's supposedly match-worn. match-worn, but it oh. doesn't have the, um, like, there is oh, it, nothing oh, embossed here. Interesting. Um, but it also has different patches. Yeah. I'm just checking what version mine is. So mm. Sasha's one is a lot nicer than my one. And yeah. That's, uh, so this is one of the later ones. The earlier ones had didn't have the South Africa flag in the middle and also I've had like a... two of them, color. but I never really looked at them. One, oh, one's did. like really like bad shape. It's like pilled and got poles all over it. And then uh, I've got another one. Like doesn't, don't, some of them have like a button up collar even. Yeah. yeah. Mine's, mine's the same I mean, as your one, Nick, in that it's got the red kappa, but it's a funny shape. It's like it's shorter than that one that you've got. Um, I don't but know. there is also this one. I mean, this is a properly different yeah, design. That's right? a beast. Yeah, I like that one too. It's I like a bit that better. One. Yeah. Qual- yeah. Quality is so much better on those 98 kappa shirts. Although, although it does have a net. Which yeah, yeah. I quite like I'm, that. That's right. I'm not sure about but, it. So the just way that, the- that Sasha just showed is that so that, that did rank a little bit lower down the the top hundred, is that even though people instantly recognise it and remember it from France '98, it was only ever used in five games: the three <laughs> at the World Cup, um, and then a, a two pre um, two free World Cup warm ups, and that was it. Five games, and all they ever used it. Whereas this one was used for like five yeah, years, years, and years, and years. Yeah. What, what I never understood, I mean, look at the flag of South Africa. It's called the Rainbow Nation. And then out of all the colors that you have on that flag, <laughs> you've made you it brown. gray, white, and brown, yeah. which are all <laughs> not part of the flag. I mean, yeah. why would you do that? It's, yeah, yeah, it's true. Never thought it's of it. Integrating the different um, colors, and which is something that they weren't very good at before. Yeah. Right, moving on. Um, number 16. Um, so Greece is well known for having literally the most dull um, shirts. It, it's up there with Finland and sadly um, true, yeah. Um, but this one, um, it's amazing. Like, yeah, it is. It's like some kind of impressionist uh, painting. I, I, it's like they they covered it with paint and then got some sponges and swirled them. It's it's phenomenal. I love it. You know, yeah, it makes me it. It, it makes me think of something you'd find on like a vase that you dug out of. 20 feet of mud at the bottom of the Adriatic or something, even though I'm sure that doesn't have anything to do with Greek art in terms of those patterns, but it evokes that sort of feel. I like it, yeah. It's, yeah uh, I like that too. It's definitely got something going on. 
I do think that um, Greece perhaps need to um, rethink their badge. Um, I'm not normally a big one on redoing the badges, but this one is isn't isn't great in my opinion. I, I, I disagree. I like when it's bold. Like I have this one. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's, that's their best shirt ever. I think that actually works quite nice. I mean, mm. Nick, you have that one too, don't you? I've got the home version. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And it took me ages to find evidence that it being used, but I, I did manage to eventually. Right, number 15. Um, Yay! Yay! Joe, have you Yay. got this shirt? <laughs> <laughs> have, I, have I got about five of these? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did sell I've one. I've heard of it, yeah. At one point to someone, but uh, but yeah, I think I do still Maybe remember. you regret it now. <laughs> oh, was it Sasha? Oh, I okay. think you saw it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've still got at least three of them in the cupboard, so that's fine. Well, probably no two in the cupboard and one hanging up here. But yeah. yeah tell us all about never, it. Why is it your favorite? Never go anywhere without it. Why is it my favorite? It's just, just look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, Hummel are awesome. I like blue and green as a combo. I know they say it's a bad combo, but I think in this case it works. I like Sierra Leone. So they've got the Sierra is like the mountain bit of it at the top of the shirt. And the uh, Leone is the lion at the bottom. And I love that they have sewn the slash marks into the corner of the shirt. And I just think that's possibly one of the greatest little details that anybody's ever put into a football shirt yeah, I just exactly love that rich, they, yeah 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 it's got actual slashes but they're sewn in really carefully and I just think that's great and I just love the chevrons down the down the sleeves the blue and white just looks absolutely badass like everything and, about and there's it. mountains on the back too right on the at the bottom yeah that's right it also says Sierra Leone I believe uh, oh yeah no there's not a mountain on the back but it says Leone oh, stars at the bottom oh. um, but this is this is the mountain here this. you know so the, the Leone Stars bit is always really confusing because obviously uh, one of their close neighbours is uh, Liberia, who are called the Lone Stars. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, I know. <laughs> I never thought of that before, actually, yeah. You've not spent I, hours researching football shirts from West Africa. I honestly am, am not such a fan of that shirt. I, I think it's a bit on, on the edge between being absolutely terrible Oh, really? and being absolutely beautiful. I it's think definitely is... turned up in some absolutely terrible lists, like. But I'm, I'm very much of the opinion that it's genius. I think exactly. I like it. And I'm, ha- I'm happy I have it, but I think it's very much on the edge. There's a thin line between being genius and insane. Yeah. For me, for me, it's firmly in the genius camp. Yeah, oh, it's straight on the line. <laughs> Is that the same cat that died on the on the Gabon shirt? It's just this is one that's healthy. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, yeah, possibly so. Or uh, do I have another? One? I thought I had another one with a big cat somewhere. Um, oh, it's yeah, it's the guy Guyana shirt. It's lurking behind. Oh yeah, the, the Guyana yeah, has a, anyway. ja- a jaguar. Yeah. yeah. Right. Love yeah. I, nom- I, I nominated this. Um, it's good. Behind well, you. Yes, yeah. it is. It's another one that's behind me. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, it's just so good, isn't it? Like I, I, that. Sh- I know that shade of blue is wrong for, for DR Congo in terms of their flag, but it's a beautiful shade of blue and it looks so good with the red. And just because they've lined the red with the yellow, it just, I don't know. It's like, this is quite a simple shirt in terms of my particular football shirt aesthetic tastes. But it's so good. Like this, the the yeah. the sash is so bold. I just think this is an absolute masterpiece. I'm trying to remember how we got these. Did, they, did we get them off a French website? A French website. Yeah, it was a sold, French website. Sold them for about ten minutes or something. In the way that French yeah. websites seem to do. And like, then they released the new ones, and we bought yeah. them from the same website. You know, the yeah. like spandex ones. Yeah, it? they did two versions of the of the lighter blue one, though, because there's ones that have got embroidered badges and ones that don't, and I got one that didn't. Um, they've got ones with the star on it, and they've got I, ones with new badges. You know, that's it. I don't like it as much, actually. And I know that's oh, silly, okay. because, like, the you know, I normally like a, a badge with a big animal on it, but, like just the simple star on this badge just looks great the whole thing just looks classy you know I, I agree I think it's it's hard to rank um, Congo shirts alone because they're all ridiculously beautiful yeah but, um, when it comes to simple shirts that's probably one of the best indeed that's it for me I also this like that the, bad, classic, that the badge you know? is not on the sash it's on the other side so yeah even, totally. even the small details it's perfect totally. it's very sort of military doesn't it with that that sash it's um, yeah yeah 
kind of neat. Some, um, some medals down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that. But I don't know, it just looks kind of classic African to me. Like, you know, it would have, you could have seen them wearing this in the like late 70s or something. Well, you couldn't because obviously they weren't called DR Congo back then. But, but you know what I'm saying? It's got the look of it is it's kind of timeless. Yeah. I think the, the the interesting thing, obviously, we were saying about the colour of blue is that actually before this, they didn't wear light blue, did they? They, they wore dark blue through uh, the late 90s. Um, well, no, because the shirt they had before this was by Air Ness, I think, and it was light blue was light. and it had like a, a, a sort of straight oh, you that's know, true, actually. down yeah. the side. Yeah, and it they, was... they did yeah. have an Air Ness one that was a darker blue. They had the light blue one. And mm. then they had the one that had like the weird kind of stitching, like middle of the chest. That was a um, darker that's also blue in the as top well. That was um, yes, yes, it was. Don't remember that one. I think Sasha's me. got yeah. There, oh, see? of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Right enough. So there, there's definitely a precedent for both, but that yeah. one just uses yeah, those. Yeah, <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> love it. So there you go. See, getting Lua Lua vibes from and this one as well. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I don't anything. actually have the ANS one with the crazy pattern on. I, I need that. Right, should we move on to number 13? Thanks, Let's Sarah. Um, oh, yeah, classic. I, I, really like, I know people go on about um, the 88 to 92 shirt, but for this me, I think the... this is my favourite German shirt. The totally agree. 94 totally. World Cup, is it? 94 World Cup, absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Think, it's great. The, it's the away the, one's good as well. The green one with the with the same, same pattern colours, at the top. Yeah. yeah. And I but think yeah. the, the thing about this, okay, it's an Adidas template, but quite often it was just the plain co- colour with like the white chevroni type things. And I think um, Germany and Club America um, were the sort of exceptions to that with the, the sort of three colours. I think it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I think Georgia as well. There is a nice picture yeah. of yes. Germany yeah, versus Georgia. They had white and black, didn't they, on there? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Right. Um, number 12. Um, this is amazing. I love it. So yeah. this is really good. So um, J- Japan used to wear red, I think, as their home colour up until um, they came with Adidas. So they had the one with the three stripes like, over the shoulder before this. And then um, the Japanese FA designed this themselves. Um, I think Classic Football Shirt's done a really good video on this. I think it's them anyway. They did. Um, because they had the same shirt, but it was produced by Puma, Adidas and Asics. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's, Is the, it, that, that's not that shirt. That's yeah, the I don't think that's flames different. on the arms. It's so, the, yeah, yeah. They, they did it for this one, and then this. Oh, one they did it for both. Oh, they did it for both of them. That's okay, wild. Wow. Yeah. And actually, there's two versions of the ones with flames on the arms, and um, two manufacturers made the second version as well. So they've done it for three different designs with a Japanese FA design. Uh, but with the manufacturers circulating and it would depend on whether it was a um, an Olympic team or whether it was um, like a national team or if they're playing in the Kieran Cup they will have different manufacturers but do, I mean, do, I, do you guys like this design? I love I've it got to, I've got to say I um, I feel like I should like this more than I actually do I'm not really into it like as Japan shirts go nah you know, I, I think, lost the one I, I that Eric's wearing. For me, the one that Eric's wearing is actually the best Japan shirt of all time. I love that. And I love the one with the flames on the arms that came after this one. But this one in particular, I'm not really into. Like, it's... I mean, it, it, it looks like the, like the load screen of a Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And that, and that should be a great thing. That should make <laughs> a shirt that's a 10 out of 10 banger. But somehow for me, yeah. this just isn't quite there. So the thing is, I really want this shirt. Um, but the thing is, there are so many fakes of it around and yeah. I'm just not I'm not an expert enough to be able to to spot those on these really commonly I'd say commonly available if, if you've got the money you can buy this shirt so it is commonly available um, you could probably pick it up for about £120 but you need to to be sure that it's not going to yeah. be fake yeah go and do your cases. authenticity checks yeah right okay um on to number 11 so San Marino appear in this list so many oh yeah times. I think I think I uh, nominated this did I that's the 2000 2001 yeah. shirt isn't it yeah it is indeed yeah yeah it's a belter that's it I've got a match worn one of those um, and yeah look at it isn't it fantastic it's you yeah. know lovely design but it's also about the weave again you know back when proper lovely shiny patterns in the weave and you know this has got um I mean, I don't know what they are. Pre- presumably, those 
um, patterns in the weave actually mean something. They're a logo or part of the badge or something that's important to San Marino. I don't know, but like it just looks cool. They look like stars to me. Three things on the front. Sleeves are lovely and neat and tidy. Collar's got a nice, decent pattern around it. I mean, it's a banger. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Virma just. Virma yeah. wins the 90s. Yeah, man. They smashed it. Yeah. It's but also we, the correct. Why? Thing. Why three? Why three times the DFA logo? Right? <laughs> well, there's what? three. There's three mountains in San Marino, is there not? In case you didn't oh. see it the first two times, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> is there like some towers in? Yeah, Sorry. there's three towers. Yeah, and, like there's three uh, main mountains, I think. Oh, there are three towers indeed. Yeah, yeah I've been yeah. I've yeah. been there last year. Um, you're right. There's three towers. Because they've got um, they, they've got that famous um, admiral shirt, haven't they? The one from when they played against um, England, where it's got the the three stripes down, but then they've got the sort of tower design within that as well. Um, and I think the more modern ones they've had by Macron, I want to say. I have to confess, this is the only Burma shirt I have. Oh man! Oh no! Really? Yeah. And it's just blank. It's not a good one, are yeah. no, I've got Matt's was... one of that. Um, but anyway, I'm into the top ten. So um, it's uh, it's you. There we go. Uh-huh. A way shirt. Um, th- this is. For, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm surprised this finished tenth. I was kind of expecting to be a little bit higher. Um, it is one of the all-time greatest international shirts. I think. Um, it is great. Like there's no doubt about it. So it's it's denim style. Um, it's got stars all over <laughs> it. The the only downside is uh, worn as a full kit it was worn with red um, red shorts uh, the home shirt which was the wavy uh, red and white uh, striped shirt had denim shorts they could have gone and double there was denim never an occasion oh. where they wore <laughs> double denim they could have gone full status yeah, quo yeah but see they couldn't though because then people would have accused them of wearing a Canadian tuxedo <laughs> and it's the American team you can't go <laughs> double denim and not be Canadian so you know uh, it's probably a, a bylaw of some kind. It's traditional some Canadian wedding attire. Yeah. <laughs> traditional Canadian wedding attire is blue jeans, a denim shirt with a denim jacket. And a mullet. Uh, well, maybe Canada would bring out <laughs> denim inspired shirt. So the, the weird thing about this is that I, I believe the match worn shirts had the stars on the like consistent so it's like the, the other sleeves you notice here the left sleeve has stars yeah. on but that doesn't I believe the match one ones is the sort of correct way around it's weird um, that, isn't it yeah the, and the other weird thing is that different countries release slightly different versions like there's one that's just got like a um, like a circular collar rather than this v-neck uh, and there's ones with actual proper collars on them as well and I think like the Argentine one and the um, the Japanese version there's, there's all these slight differences with this shirt and I, I don't understand quite why but they happened a lot with Adidas in the um, 80s and 90s yeah. right okay um, what's next number nine oh. Oh. <laughs> if, if Guinea Bissau won the World Cup in yep. the late 90s, this would be top. Um, but <laughs> for some reason, people haven't come across this one. Funny um, that. This yeah, is actually, yeah. and to, to be honest, it took me 10 years of collecting before I came across this photo as well. It's wild. Um, this is I love by, that. Oh my God. This is made by Saliev, um, the, I want to say oh. Portuguese, because they produced. I want to say Benfica and stuff, but I'm just throwing out. Um, Look at the size of the collar on it, man. It's, it's bonkers. It's ridiculous. You'll take off if they run fast enough down the wing. They'll take off. <laughs> and they, they just look so cool wearing it, don't they, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah I love it. The guy on the left especially is just like, yeah, you know, he looks like a catalogue model. I like the swim shorts as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They look like trunks. Fantastic. And the fact they've got all this crazy design and everything, they pulled it off so well. And then the badge is just a little white strip saying Guinea Bissau. <laughs> yeah. But it's yeah, cool yeah. that they even got, they even did that because at that time, in that part of Africa, a lot yeah. of countries were just wearing things yeah. that were vaguely no the cool. color. Yeah. You know? So that's pretty, to me, that makes it one step up. The fact that somebody went like, oh, well, you know, we have to let people know who we are, you know like your eyes could focus on that badge with everything else going on. <laughs> yeah absolutely otherwise um, they will confuse us with all the other teams wearing very similar shirts. well that's yeah. it exactly <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really pleased that people voted for this um shirt because i love it um, yeah that's great yeah 
it, it's that, just like this proof, proof that other people um, enjoy this stuff as well. How many people uh, voted? In, in the in the polls, I had about seventy people in total. Oh, that's great. So, and it's amazing. Like, if you look at, I've created a spreadsheet, and there was almost three hundred different shirts were nominated. So, oh, that's fantastic. Um, but the, the the top ten, there were absolutely tons of people um, voting for these ones. Right. Um, I, I do wonder what happens in the in the kit room. So these guys turn up to play their international match, and the kit man brings these out. Like, what's the reaction? Like, <laughs> do they look at it and go, "Oh wow, this is amazing," um, or do they look at it and go, "Oh, oh my it's god"? Like, <laughs> yeah, who knows? Don't know. Guess it depends on their everybody's personal aesthetic taste. I'd be going crazy for that, but I know plenty of people that would definitely not. I always wonder that about like Neville Southall because there's that those crazy fluorescent, mad pink, yellow, green goalie tops that they got him to wear in like the mid to late nineties. And you, it's like, all right if you're the Mexican keeper. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Who's designed them himself? That's the thing. Campos couldn't be annoyed about that because he designed them himself. Neville Southall, on the other hand, was like about the size of a house anyway. Does he really want to draw attention to himself with a lot of fluorescent stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he loved it. He might well have done. Um, but. Right. Okay. Um, number eight. Um, so the classic. I'm glad it, yep. I'm <laughs> glad it's in the top ten. Uh, so you were trolling earlier on. On oh, Twitter, sure. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, t- you told him it hadn't made the top hundred, <laughs> and it got knocked out by a plain blue shirt. <laughs> Excellent. Here it is. I'm glad that that turned out to be a lie. It's a classic. Yeah, King Roo. So presumably, King Roo are an Australian brand, and I think they only produce Australian ones. Sean's going to correct us for forever, so we can talk. He will. There's an away shirt that they did as well that's like completely wild. It looks a bit like sort of... Yeah, it's like, like a more of a, like a mottled green. Yeah, shirt. it's like mashed. looks like if you mash broccoli with carrots and sweet potato. I'm doing a and lot bizarrely. of mashing things they... at the moment with an infant in the <laughs> hand. Like, that's kind of what it reminds me of, yeah. But bizarrely, they... So obviously, the home and away are great. Um, but they did goalkeeper shirts as well, obviously. And the oh, weird yeah. thing is, the goalkeeper shirts—they're awesome. But they, for, for '90s goalkeeper shirts, are actually quite subtle. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They didn't get the memo that said goalie's crazy. Everybody else, yeah, they were it, holding it's, it's it like, the wrong it's way. It's like this, but it's more of a, like a multicolored thing. But I think there's a lot more black on it as well. Um, so yeah, That's it's a good really photo nice. too, Nick. Your, yeah. your photo turned out awesome. There yeah, you go, Mike. I've, my photos are awful normally, so I'm quite pleased. With it was I do like the big... shirt. I do like the shirt because you can see it's Australia as mm. well. Yeah, it does scream like, Australia. Unlike, like. unlike with the Japan shirt, for example, I would have to puzzle or the Guinea Bissau shirt, to be honest. Yeah, um, but, but this, this one, one, I mean, it's crazy, but still, you does say Australia. I would probably guess it's Australia. Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. take the badges off, you'd still think it. It is. Um... It was my one of these that was in the National Football Shirt Museum's exhibition up on their top floor for a couple of years, which uh, right. I was quite pleased about, really. Right, OK. Um, right. On to number seven. Oh, hell. So, right, Classic. so I'll, I'll be honest here. I, I had some votes for uh, the green version of this. I'm guessing Joe made. Yeah, yeah, love the away version um, of this. But, that no, would have been me too, because the, the green. I love the green one. But they're Music. both amazing. Yeah, the the yellow one had more votes. And to be honest, yeah. they, they are essentially the same shirt. So if you like the green one, you're still going to like the yep. yellow one. You know, so yep, like, for sure. So um, so I combined the votes for this one. and But I think deservedly so, top um, top 10 for this. And the weird thing about this is, whilst it's a really famous shirt, and we, we mentioned this in a previous episode, that you could still get it for like 50 quid. Um, but and I remember saying that the price is going to rocket soon. Now you can't get it for less than 150. Quid, yeah, so. I haven't got the yellow one either, and I really want it. Um, but yeah, oh, it's such yeah. a such a beast. So th- there are a lot of fakes of this around now, and Tons, there's a really yeah. easy way to spot the difference um, between the two. And the the reason is that on the legitimate ones, and um, the M of Jamaica is completely messed up. It looks like a, a toddler's drawn it. Uh, but on the yeah, the fake it's sort of like really neatly um so so check out the the, the wording of jamaica if you're um if you're unsure if it's legit or not um and of course the other weird thing is that this design is heavily based on um the um what are they called Le- lovely sasha is yours legit sasha it is yeah legit, that's legit yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah 
Um, it, it, yeah, Lanzera um, did the um, did the original one in like ninety six, ninety seven ish. Yeah, it's a cool uh, shirt that one. Kappa literally released the same one with just a Kappa logo on, and then for France ninety eight, uh, they released this this awesome shirt. But the Lanzera one, I think, is even better. Um, it's yeah, the Lanzera one is a little different. It, it is, but obviously, it's not as well known. As soon as they were look like qualifying for World Cup, Kappa took over the contract and whacked their badge on it. Yeah. Um, and then the thing about the Lanzera ones is obviously um, El Salvador one uh, wore it as well uh, with like a blue and, and black and white version. Of it. Didn't know that. But Kappa weren't interested in El Salvador. Right, okay. Um, number six. Um, Denmark 80... I want to say 1986 for this one. Um, Sounds right, it, yeah. It's not a surprise this, this one's up there. It is a template shirt. Um, Coventry wore this. Yeah. Amongst um, a whole yeah, bunch. Yeah, I was going to say, but I've seen blue versions of this, and yeah, yeah. It's, I, uh, think it's to- I think it's totally overhyped. I, so I keep I. seeing this as the best football shirt ever. Yeah. It's okay. I it's good. Totally I mean, it, it's, it's good, and I like it, but you know, it's. I think it's worth looking at in the context of the 80s as well. So if you think of your typical 80s football shirt, they are pretty much plain, whereas this one is completely bold um, out there. They. Like the idea of taking half your shirt and putting a bunch of stripes down it for the 80s is crazy. Yeah, so, it depends. I mean, if you ask people in Guinea Bissau, they will say it's terribly boring. <laughs> <You're in the laughs> 80s. Yeah. yeah, it is true. So, um, not in my top 10, but I completely understand why people have put it out. I think it's deservedly um, highly ranked. Um, yeah, so. I, I think I would be in my top 20 just because apparently, like you said, it was a first to. Yeah, I mean, kind maybe. of mix up the designs and not to kind of be like a, you know just a solid shirt with like some subtle you know like that's you know not subtle. That's it. Maybe we maybe we should um, respect it because it pushed things in a direction that we all came to enjoy. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of with Sasha. It's it's fine, but I don't yeah. love it. I wouldn't have it in my top yeah. twenty. Um, okay, so I, I think, and just like we said with previous ones, like that Japan shirt, is that the, um, I don't have this in my collection, and purely because there are so many fakes out there. Um, there's a green version that's been going for hundreds of pounds, and I'm pretty sure I've, I've heard people say that the green version never actually existed of this. Um, so well, it's going to be this one of those keeper shirts. Exactly. Like I, I think the template itself is quite commonly available, and you can just whack the uh, Denmark FA's awesome badge, by the way. Um, on, that yeah it's a good badge and charge hundreds of pounds and i don't want to risk it i don't i'm not good enough at spotting what the differences are between them right okay um into the top five so um in fifth place uh rather predictably um th- this was always going to be top 10 i think it's always um really sought after um again um in the context of the 80s so i think this was 88 and for adidas this is a really out there shirt i think that typical Adidas 80s is completely plain with some stripes on it. Template um, so, again. Say again? Template again, though. It is template. The, the Ipswich template, which is bizarre because Ipswich never wore it. Um, and oh. the, I saw a website, I'm trying to remember who it is. It might be the Football Shirt Collective did a, a blog post about how to spot um, fakes and so on for this, which is really useful. But all the different factories produce different versions of this. I think this is the Dutch version, but like the Irish one that's completely different um, to this. And then you've got the uh, Japanese and the American, and there's just all these different um, versions of it which have slightly different patterns. And I don't really understand why why it would be different, but that's 80s. It's um, a cool pattern. I love it. It's It kind of looks like a sort of sci-fi armadillo, um, and I'm down it, down for that. I find Some it, of the... Re- uh, right. I find it absolutely terrible. Like it, really? it would, <laughs> it would right. not even That's be right. my top top 100. I wanted to nominate a Dutch shirt as well, um, but surely not that. But the, the first orange one. This looks exactly like the guys who are uh, driving the garbage trucks in Germany. <laughs> um, like exactly the same pattern and and color. No way. Shade. I find I mean, it cool absolutely wear, you? terrible. Um, like, yeah, Fair I enough. wouldn't want to have it. I like I like it. I would have it, but um, but it's funny that Joe there. mentioned about it being slightly sci-fi because um, f- there was a I think Adidas released a Star Wars range of this where they had one from 
Now I don't know my Star Wars, but it's like the the dark side, and is it the Jedi? They the opposite yeah. of dark side. Yeah, yeah and they so, they, yeah. they created a ship, the dark side and ship for the Jedi. I think the Jedi's had a blue version of this, and it, it did look really cool. And I'm not even into Star Wars. So. Yeah, I mean, it just it does something about it. Just screams sci-fi to me. Like Some it. of those regional differences you were talking about, Nick, could be due to the way licensing agreements work back then. I know that in Japan, the Adidas stuff at this time, up until I think very recently, actually was manufactured by a company called Decente that made ski wear initially. So maybe you got a little bit of leeway to use what you could get your hands on in terms of a base, you know, as long as it had the three stripes on it. The, the, I also don't know the, back then, obviously you can't design something, just email it over. So I'm not sure what the process was there. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. To get in a design terms of sharing design. designs yeah. yeah right okay um number four um so west germany uh, uh 88 um and then they had a very very similar one uh, in 90 where for some reason they had a bit of fabric at the bottom that was separately sewn on i never really got that um it's a cool shirt um and i can understand why people vote it up there um not in my top 10 um, but they, there's loads of copycats of this, and Dora had one, Uganda had one, um, Jordan, very, uh, I think Jordan had one in 1988, um, so very um, soon after having a copy. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a cool shirt. That's, That's fine. Your Again, I don't like it. I, I think there are a couple of things. I mean, first of all, what's going on with the Adidas and the badge? Um, they are not on the same oh, level, yeah, which man, is man, freaking horrible, me out. Actually. You're right. Yeah, that actually, looks terrible is very odd yeah thanks yeah. sasha for pointing that out too because now it's all you can see isn't it it's all i can see now yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely. all not aligned i mean absolutely it, it, it looks like be... it was designed on on word where you can have a line they should down. be like eyes you know but instead they're like yeah and i mean in general it, it's just as you say it's just a template i mean it, it's 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 okay. I mean, it's one of the better German Germany shirts, but that's because most of our shirts were templates. Um, yeah, I, I don't like it. it yeah. It's okay. I mean, I will take it. It's a classic. It, it's it's worth a, a million over here, but... 94 pisses all over it. Yeah, it does. I think the, the really strange thing about this is the Adidas um, badge on it. If you see my one, it, it almost, like... You look at that and think it's fake by looking at the way it's been embroidered, but um, th it's, this is like the most common one, I think, um, amongst them. But there are lots of variations of how the Adidas badge has been done. I think it's just because it's been done over four years um, that there are slight variations. And it's <laughs> there's loads of fakes out there, and it's, it's a right minefield to decide which one's the legit one, and, yeah. which is why it took me 10 years to, to eventually get it. And I got it from Northern Ireland Classic Shirts for um, oh, yeah. about £100. I think I got it for a, a really decent amount because um, some people pay up to 200 for it. Right, okay, on to top three. Uh, the top three. So, number three. Um, oh, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so there we go. Yeah, if that yeah. wasn't in the top, well, five, I would have been happy, but... For me, that would have been definitely top three. Probably I didn't, didn't three. nominate it, but I can't argue. It's wild. So this is Antigua um, Barbuda um, 2005, I think it is. Um, and th it's got shorts that go with it as well. Um, I've got some pictures that we can, can give for that. Uh, this is my absolute holy grail shirt that I've been after for ages. And it came up on eBay and it went for... 200 and basically 261 got, pounds wasn't it Jacob got a new job and he got far too much money and just massively out yeah. things decent that was coming up so yeah. <laughs> okay. well yeah. good on him if, if anyone was I bowed out him. at 200 in that one I, 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 I think I was at 260 and I'm guessing Jacob put his top bid at like double that to ensure yeah that. I'm pretty, pretty sure he would have wow. but yeah what a beast but just always seems so random that it's firmer and you're like yeah but what why why 
why Antigua, Barbuda, <laughs> and Verma, and San Marino, and Verma, and you're kind of like... And, and Chester City as well had Verma. <laughs> there you go. Didn't know that. Well, well, there, that explains it all now. Everyone was trying to copy Chester City, so... Absolutely. All, all the big guys. Famous Oh, game. no, what work experience guy was at the Verma uh, factory, and like, oh, yeah, we've got to produce a shirt for Antigua and Barbuda, and he right, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Count with this, like yeah, no fantastic effort into them. So fair play, it's it's, it's absolutely amazing. I think it's almost too much, but uh, no, I like it. I think the, no the collar might much. be a bit too much. The the, 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 the collar, <laughs> did you say? Yeah. That's the yeah, That's what puts it over the edge. <laughs> I've yeah. noticed that the pattern is the same as the um, San Marino 2000 one. It's got those stars in it, hasn't it? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh right, yeah, in does. the weave it does absolutely. Ah, it it's does. just a template. Right, let's move on to number two. <laughs> uh, right, second place. There we go. Um, so it's a classic. Yeah, I wish I'd got. 1998 World Cup certainly. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head if it was before that, uh, but certainly famous for um, France '98. I wish I'd got um, one of these before there. Everything was just a sea of fakes. I mean, it's a weird one because ABBA Sports still make these, right? And they've yeah, been, yeah, been making them ever really since. And you're kind of like, where do you... Do they all count as legit, even though it's made, you know, 25 years after the event? Or what? I mean, I'd, where'd, you, where'd you cut off, you know? Where'd you draw the line? Because one born in 90... One bought in 98 is obviously legit. One bought 2000 is presumably legit, but to buy one in 2022 you're like I don't know yeah. does that count as legit I don't know at what point does it become retro Enrique got me one of these from Mexico it was the my, fir my first Mexico shirt was one of these and uh, I think the next oh no sorry I had I had like one of those crap like plain white Nike, which is like a badge sewn on. And I was like, this is just this garbage. I have to get a better shirt. So I got in touch with him. I'm like, look, I need a shirt that screams Mexico. And he got me one of these. <laughs> and that was the and one. then I didn't get another Mexico shirt until that Lucha Libre one came out like a few years ago. Oh, yeah. No, um, I, like that. I like that one. Yeah. yeah. But this, but, I mean, this, this was my number one. And for exactly oh, that it? reason, uh, I think. Good choice. Great. I think it's the right amount of crazy, but still subtle. I mean, it's still and just culturally significant. Exactly, it screams Mexico. Like, yeah. you don't yeah, need to write. Got, I don't know why they Mexico wrote it in, it in the middle. You could really, yeah, <laughs> yeah, leave that good. out. There's a third version that's like green and red. red. Isn't that right? Yes. And yeah. So I, yeah. I've got the away Wild. version, um, which is the which white is like one. a white version, which is quite subtle. If yeah. You make this subtle. Yeah. And yeah, they've got this Not green and red one. Um, which was yeah, it was, it was used a couple of times. Um, I came across I a photo wanted. of them playing um, Ivory Coast at the Under Twenty World Cup in, I think it was in '99 or, or 2000 in Malaysia, uh, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, it I makes think, me think of the Simpsons whenever I see it. Mr. Burns going, "Oh, this bloodthirsty fellow is Senor Ixtapalapa Kettle." <laughs> it just. I don't know. It just, if, it, if something can tie into The Simpsons somehow, it just makes it all that much more <laughs> potent for me. Uh, but I really like the cuffs on it, the way they've gone. What can we do to yep. this up a bit? Yep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I feel like it needs something. It's a little bland. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's, it's, just... a bit, it's a bit generic, you know? It needs yeah. something to give it a Mexican flavor. Yeah. 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 It's a great right, shirt. Um, I, I think we could probably all guess what number one is just by its I think so. Just, the, um, the yeah. And I think it's probably the one that I voted for as number one. Here uh, it is. There it I is. I am pretty sure I voted this number one as well. No, um, hang on two seconds. Mine's in the attic. <laughs> Here we go. There it is. <laughs> yeah. My, oh, man, that's... This this was the first sh shirt that kind of just made me stop and go, yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. I, I can't I can't just buy the cheapest one that I get my hands on from now on. There are good ones out there, and holy crap, you know, this is just yeah, absolutely. That's it. I think I've come over the years to to realize that I think it's probably just the best national shirt that there's ever been. I think it's just fantastic that 
what they've done with the three stripes is great, you know? I like the way that they all stop on different levels. The cranes are just beautiful. It's really beautifully done. You know, the only thing that would have made this better would have been if your badge here had been embroidered. It's a shame that it's mm. kind of, you know, sublimated. Um, but it gets a pass. I mean, the Hummel's raised. The collar's just quality. It's, you know, it's kind of a shame, but like, ultimately, it's not enough to stop it for me from being my number one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I, I, I totally agree. I think it was my number two. Um, what I never understood is actually the colors. I mean, this is not the flag of Uganda, isn't it? Um, well, yeah. It, yeah, I mean, what? Uganda's flag. It's got like nine stripes does, on it, hasn't it? The, yeah, it does, yeah. Really but I think those colors are all in the yeah, flag. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're the colors I would associate with Uganda, but then. I suppose I probably think of them more in terms of football shirts than in terms of flags, to be honest with you. But, <laughs> but, um, but I, I, I mean, I do recognize these colors, and I would just dream of Germany having a shirt like that I, once. Yeah. yeah, you'll never get anything that good, unfortunately, just because Adidas are never going to produce anything this good. They would never go wild with the cranes, you know? That's a bold decision on the part of a manufacturer to... to to go for that and that's why Hummel yeah. are the best as well because they take these decisions you know they've never been scared to slap a lion on a green and blue shirt and know that it'll probably end up on the list somewhere of people who are like oh I, I hate anything that is creative I don't want this on my football shirts but yeah. on this one I think it's more subtle than on the Sierra Leone one like this one yeah. is more yeah yeah absolutely I mean very I stylized un- it's more perfect like. I can understand why people don't like the Sierra Leone shirt really but I couldn't really understand if people didn't like this shirt because it's just it's beautiful but it's beautiful without being completely over the top yeah. um yeah, it, it could also it, be part of the opening title set of uh, the Catch Me If You Can movie with uh, Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. You could, you could slide, you could slide that right in there. <laughs> bit, you know. Because it, there are, um, there are lots of head. fakes of this um, sort of making their way in now. Um, the, the, the two easy ways to spot it are um, the chevron on the collar. Sometimes that's missing. Um, and also the uh, the lettering in Uganda um, is yeah. sometimes spaced out a little bit more than here. And bizarrely, I found photos um, from Uganda matches where the um, the coaches are all wearing fake versions of this. <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that line when, that's when African that. football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that African football line where it's like, oh well, but my shirt's real Adidas. Well, yeah, too bad. That means it's fake because they were. Yes, yeah. are knockoffs. Yes, you exactly. Know? They were wearing Ool Sport, or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, All right. Well, just to round this off, I just want to like thank everybody that took part in this. I'm listing your top ten favorite international shirts of all time in order sounds like quite a simple thing until you actually sit down and do it and it's suddenly something that plays with your mind for a week um and i had um i had loads of people doing it and emailing me that i had some people like writing full-on reasoning that went with it and it was it was really good to read and it was really interesting to see people's opinions um and i think once i put it all into my spreadsheet and i saw the listing whilst there ones that i didn't necessarily agree with i think uh, we ended up with like a really fair um, certainly the top 20 I think um, they, they all deserve to be there for one reason or another so um, I will do it again in a few years time um, when there's more shirts out and people's opinions change people have discovered new older shirts and so yeah thanks everyone for taking part in that it's been really fun and a lot of hard work yeah brilliant may, may, may I thank you for going through the pain of reading all that and sorting it all out and putting yeah. it together <laughs>